The British film boom of the 60s began in black and white with Joe Lampton heading for the big time in Halifax. It ended with an East End gangster losing his mind in the color-saturated pad in Notting Hill. Along the way, London had become the city that everyone wanted to hang out in. It had the music, the fashion, the bright young things. And for a while, everything shot better here. In the 60s, it was a real attempt by a disparate group of young filmmakers to break away from the stiff upper lip school of British pictures. And as they struggled to come to terms with a rapidly changing society, they produced some groundbreaking movies and a batch of, well, unfortunately memorable failures. But what was really significant about that era was the feeling of confidence and vitality that it generated in the industry. Directors had films they wanted to make in Britain, and Hollywood came over here to make them. It's become fashionable now to knock the 60s, to undervalue the fundamental changes that took place in that decade, and to dismiss the British cinema of the period with a knowing look. But shouldn't we feel prouder of a decade of films which were moving, stylish, and experimental, and struck a chord with millions of cinema goers? And what are we doing now that could be said to rival what was going on then?